In the world of document cameras, there's a lot of confusion, especially around the word 4K. You hear terms thrown around like true 4K, 4K clarity, and UHD, but what does all this mean? Are you sure you're not just buying into marketing? In this video, we'll compare the two leading 4K document cameras, the Hovercam Solo 8 Plus and the Elmo MXP. Let's start by looking at the physical design. Both cameras can be folded down quite compactly, with the MXP folding down to almost pocket size. On the other side, the Hovercam Solo 8 Plus is slightly more robust with its zinc alloy frame and has a big advantage in field of view, allowing you to capture a full A3 size area like a double-sided textbook. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty, resolution. Resolution tells us the amount of pixels that make up an image, usually expressed in length and then height. And if you didn't know, pixels are singular points of color data that combine to make up an image. So the higher the resolution, the more detail in the image. 4K resolution typically refers to an image that is 3,840 pixels wide, 2,160 pixels high, which equates to over 8 million pixels total. On full HD, 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high, giving us 2 million total pixels. So 4K is four times bigger than full HD. Therefore, you should want a 4K resolution document camera, right? Well, perhaps not. See, in order to receive smooth 4K resolution, you'd have to have a very powerful computer. In fact, there's so many high-end components required in your computer to process every one of those 8 million pixels several dozen times a second that it's almost never recommended to try and run 4K resolution from your document camera. And if you're a teacher using a school-issued computer, there's a pretty big chance that, that computer cannot process a 4K image without a significant drop in frame rate which causes very choppy video and it's frankly unwatchable. Also, 4K video takes up a ton of space on your computer, drains the battery significantly faster, and it's just a lot to work with. Plus, there's not a lot of 4K laptop screens out there anyways, and because of this, we recommend most document cameras stick to full HD resolution, not 4K. And yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why would we make a 4K document camera in the first place if you're supposed to only use it in full HD? Does 4K mean anything for you anymore? Actually, for one of these two document cameras, it really does. And to find out, we gotta plug them both in. Now we have both cameras side by side and they look pretty good zoomed out. Both are running full HD on identical computers and monitors. But here's the funny part. Both cameras have 13 megapixel camera sensors which capture about 13 million pixels each. That's way more than full HD's two million pixels. So when it comes to presenting video, what's the point of having a camera that detects 13 million pixels when just a 2 million pixel camera sensor can provide the full HD resolution? Do both these cameras throw away those extra leftover pixels? Actually, only one of them does, and the best way to tell is when you zoom in. With both cameras zoomed in, you'll notice the Hovercam has significantly sharper image than the MXP. The Hovercam's image is crisp and fine, where the Elmo's image is showing lots of artifacts and bad pixels. This is because the MXP must shrink its image down in a process called compression, or encoding, and later piece it back together in a process called decoding, or decompression. Some might call it interpolation. Throughout the process, many of your good pixels are preemptively lost before they even reach the display, and the computer can't reconstruct that image in its original quality. You can see the negative effect of interpolation in these flickering artifacts left by compression. The Solo 8 Plus, on the other hand, utilizes a technology called Adaptive Sensor Resolution, or ASR. Instead of just cropping in on an already compressed image when zooming, the Solo 8 Plus sends the right amount of uncompressed, raw pixels when you need them, leaving you with a picture of uncompromised clarity. Because you have 13 million good pixels available, which is 5 million more than needed to call it 4K, we call that uncompressed clarity. It's also worth taking a look into software, which is very important when presenting or recording lessons. Elmo's software is downloadable from their website and accessible once you request a license key from them. Hovercam's Flex 11 software can be installed directly from the camera itself with no license key or downloading required. They can both capture 13 megapixel still images and record lessons but only the Solo 8 Plus has the built-in microphone to capture audio. The MXP records video only, not your voice, and this has a huge impact on lesson recording. 
Imagine trying to teach a lesson without saying a word. Both softwares also have useful annotation features, but only the Solo 8 Plus has multi-scan, which lets you quickly scan several pages into one file, and Slingshot, which allows you to instantly drag any of your recorded media into other programs. Lastly, Hovercam's Flex 11 has picture-in-picture, -picture, which adds a personal touch to your lessons by opening up another window with your webcam's feed, amongst many other great features. While the Solo 8 Plus outshines the MXP in most categories, the MXP is certainly more versatile when it comes to connectivity options. Both cameras have USB ports for use with your computer, but only the Elmo MXP has HDMI and VGA outputs for direct-to-display connectivity. Now when using the Solo 8 Plus, you can always output to any display from your computer, so keep that in mind. And you should also know that just because the MXP has a 4K sticker on it, you can't get 4K out of the HDMI or VGA ports. But wait, what if there was a true standalone document camera that had the connectivity of the MXP, yet allowed you to record lessons right onto the camera? Well, there is. The Hovercam Ultra 8 not only has USB, HDMI, and VGA outputs, but it can also record lessons locally right onto its SD card. And did I mention that it has a built-in touchscreen? In conclusion, the big question you have to ask yourself is, why am I buying a 4K document camera? And the answer to that question is because you want the clearest image possible. As I demonstrated, most 4K cameras can't deliver the clear 4K image on most computers. However, with the Solo 8 Plus, you can achieve smooth 4K clarity through our ASR technology without slowing down your computer. At the end of the day, you have a lot of great choices when it comes to document cameras. Would you rather have the MXP with its compact design, the Solo 8 Plus with its superior image quality and recording capability, or the feature-packed Ultra 8 with its built-in touchscreen? Don't take my word for it. Try them out yourself, do some research, and see which one gives you the best experience. Thanks for joining me.